Hey, what's up guys? Those of you out there with C-band dishes may have encountered some problems with 5G as 5G is launched and all the big companies like AT&T and Verizon are out there broadcasting from their towers with that. And even though there is a guard band, uh, if you're close to one of those transmission sites, you can have problems with harmonics from 5G transmissions into your reception space. So we were having a terrible problem with this at my site with our C-band dish and we found a very easy fix for it so I thought I would share it with you since uh, a lot of people are out there trying to sell you fancy uh, RF gaskets for a hundred dollars and brand new dishes and all sorts of other things like that really what you need to do is follow your specifications with your filters I'll explain real quick here we have a feed horn where the uh, I took it apart so this would normally be up in the eye of your dish and you have the feed horn itself where the signals flow through and uh, a 5G filter. This one is a red filter, the uh, 38242 passband and the L and B on the top. One thing that if you have worked with these before you know is it's very difficult to get your fingers in there and to get all the bolts in between these components. Many of us guys get lazy and we just put like four or six of the bolts holding these components together instead of all ten. Well, we discovered that when we put all 10 bolts in between the L and B and the filter and tighten them in the manufacturer's uh, specific order and to the proper pressure with a determined with a torque wrench, the interference went away. It was like night and day the difference. All we had to do was put all the bolts in and follow the directions. So here is a shot of the directions. Uh, my L and B's are from Donco. Uh, I forget the name of the manufacturer. I'm sure if yours are different, the manufacturer has something like this they can share with you. I don't think it would be very different, but possibly. Um, this is the magic bullet. These these devices are precision engineered. These are very specific. And if you put them in with each bolt in, it creates a seal, making sure that no interference can get in. Just the tiny little space that was there from not putting all the bolts in is where my interference was getting in. And... Once we did that, it was fixed. Um, chances are that's all you're going to need. About 9 out of 10 of the problems, this is the fix. And for those 1 in 10 people who are really close to a transmission site or have some defect in their uh, hardware, then you got to go deeper. You can actually reach out to the big cell phone companies, like both AT&T and Verizon have teams dedicated to C-band uh, interference, where... If you fight your way through and, you know, it'll take a while, you'll probably be on hold for an hour and get transferred a bunch. But if you get to these people, they will go to work with you and they will jump into their system and see um, the transmission site closest to you. Is it overdriven? Is there any alarms? Is there a possible problem? Because it is possible that they're turned up too high and need to come down, but that is very rarely the case. Usually, you put these filters in and you're done. Give it a try. Don't go out and spend ten grand on a new dish when a salesman tells you that the, your your old dish is the problem. This fixes it almost every time. So enjoy. Happy viewing on your C-band dish.